iOS 16.5 is finally here and this is one of the last updates when it comes to iOS 16 before we move on to iOS 17. Now in this video I will show you guys some settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their device once they update to iOS 16.5. And the first would be the updates. So when you go to your settings, go under general right here and you go to software updates. Now if you have updated your device to iOS 16.5, the beta versions, the dev or the public, you want to turn it off if you don't want to update any longer to beta updates of iOS 16. Now the way to do that, pretty simple, just move on to beta updates and make sure you have turned this off and from now on you will just receive the official releases of iOS 16. Now when it comes to updates, you will have a new setting with iOS 16.5 if you have an Apple Watch, you will find a setting here on the Watch app. So when you go to Watch and you go right here to General and Software Update, it will get basically the same options as you get them with the update for your iOS device. So you will get the ability to actually update to a beta software simply by selecting it here. You no longer need to install a beta profile for your watch. So let's just wait for this to load here. And there it is. So basically what you will get here is beta updates. And if you want to update your Apple Watch to a beta software, you can go ahead and now turn it on from here. Another new setting with iOS 16.5 can be found under apps that use tap to pay. So here I have Stripe. If I go here, I will have the option to always play sounds on the lock screen. So right here describes basically what this new setting does. So play tap to pay on iPhone sounds regardless whether your device is on silent or not. So it doesn't matter whether you have the ringer here switched on or off, it will always play a sound on your lock screen as long as you have this turned on. And now let's move on to some other settings. Go to settings here under battery and then you will have battery health and charging. So what you will find here is of course the old options, the optimized battery charging, which I believe every user must turn on. And then we have also something called clean energy charging. Now you might want to turn this on, but for the most time I would keep this off as it will actually just charge your iPhone more when it's like green energy is available. That way if you need to just charge your iPhone faster, this will actually stop that and make your iPhone charge way slower. So you can keep it on, but when you just need to charge as fast as possible, make sure you temporarily turn it off. Moving on under accessibility and here go to motion, you will find an option to dim flashing lights. Now what this does is that it will make flashing lights on videos way darker. That way, of course, it will protect your eyes. If you're watching videos, especially on a very dark environment, this will work pretty well. So make sure you have this enabled. I've tested it and it actually works quite good. If you use focus modes on your iPhone, go to focus here and when you go to one of your focus modes, you will have a filter here, which basically lets you choose whether you want to have the always on display on or off during that focus mode. So here's always on display. You can choose if you want to leave it on or off directly from here. You can also change the number format on your iPhone. Head on to settings, go to general, and then right here, language and region, you will be able to change the number format. So here's the number format you tap there, and you will have three different options, whichever one you choose. You can go ahead and turn it on from here. All you have to do is just click the check mark it and just enable that format that you want. And now let's move on to some really important iPhone settings that I believe a lot of users maybe neglect and don't have configured the right way on their iPhone. First of all, what everyone should do, head on to Face ID and Passcode, and just here you will find Allow Access When Locked. Now you will see here a list of things, all of them will be enabled, and all of these can be accessed on your device, even though your device is locked with Face ID or a passcode. So things like the control center, your live activities, reply with message so someone can actually reply even though your iPhone is locked or return missed calls. So that's really, really bad. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and just switch off most things here, things that you feel are important, like of course Siri, reply with message, or maybe the wallet or return missed calls. Make sure you go ahead and switch them off. Moving on to iCloud, and here we have a really cool setting that you can enable on your device. Head on to your Apple ID at the top of your settings app, go to iCloud and scroll all the way down here, you will find access iCloud data on web. Basically what this does, 
allows you to have access to everything you have on your iCloud on the web. Things like mail, calendars, photos, notes, reminders, files, everything that you have on your iCloud, you can just sign in into the iCloud website, of course. And of course, you can learn more here if you want to see the details. And you can just go ahead and have access maybe on your computer or anywhere you want. We're still here under the iCloud section and go to password and security, scroll all the way down, you will find here automatic verification. The automatic verification is actually very useful. Every time you go on a website, you have maybe like to enter on the website or some sign in or something like that, you will have to just complete a captcha. This will actually bypass it on your device as long as you have it enabled here. So you don't have to do that manually. So it's actually very, very useful. Moving on again here under accessibility, go to touch and you will find here tap or swipe to wake. Now what this does on the device is with the always on display, all you have to do on your device is swipe up without having to wake up the device and it will unlock your device. So when it's on the always on display, you don't have to tap to wake up the screen and then swipe up. All you have to do is just do one gesture swipe and you're good to go. Here we have another one under the same section. So accessibility, touch, prevent lock to end call. So basically on your iPhone, when you're on the phone call, you can just press the lock button and it will end the call. A lot of times that will happen by accident. So if you just want to prevent that, you can go ahead and enable this and then you won't be able to actually end the call by tapping the button here. It will simply lock the device. Moving on under Siri and search and we have here an option that has actually recently been added to iOS and that's the ability to actually hang up a call with Siri. So when you're on a phone call, maybe you have your phone laying down somewhere, you have it on speaker, you don't want to go and actually end the call. You can just say the hey word and say hang up and you're good to go. As long as of course you have it enabled here, Siri will be able to end a call for you. And now we're moving on to another few settings that are actually essential to do every time you update your device. And maybe if you have them configured the right way, just check them and see if everything is okay. First of all is automatic updates. Head on to settings, general software updates. And what I'm talking about here are the new security responses. As you probably know, just recently, Apple released the first security response to the public. Now they will be released, of course, in the future as well. So you don't want to bother with them, but at the same time, you want to have the latest ones always installed on your device. Make sure you have this enabled and they will be actually installed automatically without you having to do anything yourself. And next up, move on to privacy and security and check your location services here. See what services and of course, what apps have access to your location. Always make sure to do this. Of course, you don't want to give your location to every app that will have a really bad impact on the battery and performance of your device, but of course on your privacy as well. So always make sure to check the things here and see which services and which apps have access to your location. And of course, turn off that one that you need. And last but not least will be things like the Bluetooth, your camera, of course, a microphone here as well, and all the media files and things like that. So go ahead and check things like Bluetooth, see which apps have access to Bluetooth on your device or maybe your camera or your microphone. Just know that these apps will always have access to these things. As long as you have here enabled them, make sure you go ahead and check those. And if you see an app that shouldn't be there, of course, make sure you have it turned off. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. I will be posting a lot of iOS 16.5 videos in the coming days. So make sure to do that. And of course, smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one.